Francie and I are going to show you how we learn to play pig croquet. So first, if your pig does not know how to push a ball to you, you have to start with that. And um, in training, I always use only positive reinforcement, so you want to set the pig up for success. So to first learn to push the ball to you, we just put the ball right between you and the pig. He wants to push things with his nose. Good, Francie! So he'll almost certainly immediately push it towards you. And as soon as you get any progress on that, then you get a treat. See, he keeps pushing it to me because he knows he gets a treat. Good boy! Of course, he's already learned this, so he's going to move on to the next step pretty quickly, which is that I just put more distance between me and the pig. I may be out of the camera now. Good, Francie! Good buddy! That's my good boy! And then as a variation on the theme, you can even try to roll it for him. Sorry, buddy. Ready? Go get it. And have him fetch the ball and bring it back to you. Good boy, Francie. Good boy. That's my good buddy. That's my good pig. Wait, bring it to me. Okay. Good boy. We do a lot of kisses, too. Good, Francie. All right. Good buddy. So once you have mastered that, and it, that may take several days, or even several weeks, it really depends on your pig, then you're ready to guide him to push the ball through the croquet wickets, or I call them gates, because they're sort of large for wickets. Yes, you're a good boy. All right, we're gonna do step two. So step two is we want him to learn to push the ball through the gate and then pick it up on the other side. So since he already knows this, I'm not sure how easy it will be to demonstrate, but what I do is I just put the ball right there and then I'm on the other side of the gate. So he wants to push it to me. Good boy! And as soon as he pushes it through the gate, he gets a reward and a treat and enthusiasm. And I always give him a lot of enthusiasm. Then he already knows this part, but what I did was just to, good boy, hey, easy. So the one exception to positive reinforcement only is if he gets grabby and gets excited, then I say no. And I let him calm down. Usually we do kisses, right? Francie, can I have a kiss? Ah, good boy, good boy. So then I lead him with a treat around to the ball and show him I want him to pick the ball up and bring it to me again. Good boy, Francie, good boy. Ah. Do that as many times as you need to until he understands pushing the ball through the gate and bringing it around to the other side and picking it up. You don't need more than one gate at that point. You can just have the one and keep on practicing. Yes, you're a very good boy. Yes, you are. So, now, he understands the concept of pushing the ball through the gate and picking it up on the other side. And so now we start to expand it. And so you see it's step by step because we always want him to succeed. So we never move to the next step until he has good success on the step that we've set him up for success. So he's still really coming to me. He doesn't really understand the gates yet, and we're actually still working on that, so this is real training. So I let him lead the ball to me, good boy, and then push it through. And then I say, yay, yay, come on, Francie. And you can start giving treats intermittently. At first, you want to give a treat for every gate, but you can start giving treats intermittently as he gets the idea. Good boy, take it through, buddy. Right through, push it through, good boy. try again. Good boy, good try. Let's try again. And I just let him try that gate again. This way. Good boy. Good boy, Francie. Take it to the stick, buddy. Sometimes he forgets he's supposed to bring the ball, so then I just say, hey, Francie, look where I'm pointing. Francie, watch where I'm pointing. Get your ball. Good boy. Very good boy. Come on, buddy. Bring it right here to the stick. Give a lot of praise and enthusiasm when he finishes the course successfully. Good boy! Now you don't want to do, especially if you haven't done much training with your pig, you don't want to wear him out. He'll get fatigued easily um, and he'll start to get frustrated and then you're more likely to have problems like nipping at your hands for the tree or things like that and you don't want that to happen because you want to keep the training as positive as possible and always good boy and make sure that he has success. So good luck!